Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you are doing extremely well and in this video we are going to discuss the question find pair given difference. See what do we have to do. So we have been given an array let us name it as ARR and we have been given a target as your input right. We have been given array and a target. We have to return if there exists a pair whose absolute difference whose absolute difference is equals to equals to target is equals to equals to target. If such pair exists, I will have to return 1. Otherwise, I will have to return minus 1. That is the whole problem for today and it is a really easy problem. The video won't be long. So, what do I have to do is, like I have to find a pair with the absolute difference equals to equal to target. So, my brute force approach says that use nested loops, right? Use nested loops. Use nested loops to find all the pairs. Use nested loops to find all the pairs. That is, I will run a loop from i equals to 0 to n minus 1 and j equals to i plus 1 to n minus 1 right this will give me all pairs and the pairs will be of type arri arrj now i can simply check for the value that if the absolute difference that is abs of uh, arri minus arrj arri minus arrj equals to equals to target in that case return min return 1 return 1 but if all the cases that is outer loop finishes and I am not able to find any cases in that case return minus one that is the pairs the pair doesn't exist right the pair doesn't exist right what is the time complexity here so it is pretty evident that it will be time complexity O of n square I don't want to tell how I guess you are already familiar with it whenever you use a nested loop because of the cases of the i and j it becomes O of n square right but can we optimize it obviously you are here for the optimized version right you are here for the optimized version so let us try to optimize the problem let us try to optimize the problem so the given array to me is 5 20 3 2 5 80 now i would request you to please sort the array to sort the array this will be my first step after sorting the array becomes something like this 2 3 5 5 20 80 2 3 5 5 20 80 now my approach says that if I fix a pointer towards this one and I fix that is if I keep a pointer i here keep a pointer j here right keep a pointer i here keep a pointer j here my observation says that if my j will increase if my j will increase in that case my difference will increase my difference will increase how am I able to see it how am I able to tell it see because the array is sorted it is quite evident that this value is smaller than this which is smaller than this which is smaller than this which is smaller than this and and the last value is this so it is pretty evident that the distance between i and j as much as the different difference uh, distance between the i and j will increase that much difference will be increased that is difference is equals to is proportional to j minus i right is proportional to j minus i that is my approach here so what i will do i will keep my pointer i here and j here in the starting and i will say let's suppose i will say i will run my loop until my j is actually less than n what is the n? What n is the total length of the array? I will say while j is less than n, run a loop. What do I say? I say int difference is equals to absolute difference my, uh, uh, by the j at entry minus i at entry, right? ARR, j minus arri. This will give me the absolute difference. Now there can be three cases. What are the three cases? The three cases can be that this is equals to equals to target that is i have achieved that i have achieved the pair j and i such that the target between the absolute difference between this pair is equals to equals to my target in that case i can simply return one i can simply return one another case says that if my difference is less than x my difference is less than x now something is less than something i want to make my difference equals to equals to target right but somehow suppose this is five and this is three that means i will have to increase it i will have to increase it so if I want to increase it, my i is here, my j is here. I can increment my i, I can increment my j. But as you can see, if I increment j, my distance will be increased and distance will increase, so my difference will increase. My difference will increase if I j, if I increase j. So what I will do? If difference is less than x, j plus plus. Otherwise, the last remaining option is that difference is less than x. Difference is greater than x, sorry. Else, difference is greater than x. So it is quite po uh, possible to predict that if my i is here, my j is here, suppose, if my i is here my j is here and i want to decrease the difference between them so i will just move i here right so you can see 2 minus 5 is 3 but 3 minus 5 is 2 so my difference is getting decreased so i will say i plus plus in this case right i plus plus but if during whole the during whole while loop if 
uh, I don't find a case where I am returning one. I will simply return minus one because I'm not able to found any pair. I'm not able to find any pair, right? I hope this is working fine with you. I hope this is working fine with you, right? Let us try to dry run it. Let us try to dry run it. So my array given to me is after sorting it becomes two, three, five, five, twenty, eighty, and I have to find seventy five in it. I have to find seventy five in it. So I will keep my i pointer here. This is my i currently. This is my j, right? I will calculate my difference. Difference between them is I am talking about the absolute difference. So difference between them is one. I will see one is less actually less than seventy five. So I will say increase it. I will say increase it. Increase j. J will come here. The difference between two and five becomes five minus two is three. It is still less. So increase it. It comes here. It remains three only. Still less. Decrease uh, increase j. J twenty minus two is eighteen. Twenty minus two is eighteen. Okay, so I will say again increase because eighteen is still less than seventy five. Eighty, I come to eighty and I see eighty minus two is seventy eight, but seventy eight is greater than seventy five. So I will have to increase my i here. So my i comes out to be here. Eighty minus three is seventy seven. It is still greater than seventy five. So increase it. Eighty minus five is seventy five. So I will say that I have found a pair with seventy five. That is five with eighty. That is five with eighty. And I will return my answer. I will return my answer. Hope that is clear to you. Hope that is clear to you. You have not, you know, no confusions regarding it, right? Now let us try to code it down. Let us try to code it down. All right, guys. So here we are. So before starting to code, I would like to request you to please give me a subscription to my channel and hit the like button as much as possible, right? And please follow me on the Instagram and LinkedIn wherever you can find me on the social media. And the links are attached in the description below. And let us try to code it down now. So my first step was to sort the array. So sort array dot begin. With ARR dot n only, right? Now I will say my int i is equals to zero, my j is equals to one, right? As you remember, i is not equals to j. Now while my j is actually less than n, what I will do is I will say in difference is equals to absolute value of j minus ARR i. I can choose to not take difference of I can choose to eliminate absolute here because I know that j is actually greater ARR j is actually greater than ARR i, right? But still, let us keep it. It will not harm us. Harm us in any way. Now the three cases is if difference is equals to equals to my x. That is my target. I will simply return one in that case. Else, if difference is less than x, in that case I will have to increase the difference. So j plus plus. Else I will decrease. I will. I will increase the i plus plus to decrease the difference. If any case is not found for the given target, return minus one. Return minus one. Let us try to compile and run it. Hope it will run fine. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any doubts, you know where to comment it down. Yeah, and you can also DM me your personal doubts. I will try to solve them. Oh, there has been some mistake, guys. There has been some mistake. What is the mistake? All right, so I found the mistake. It will be double equal to here. Let us try to submit it again. The scribing mistake, guys. I hope you will overlook it, and it will run fine. Yeah, it is running fine. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question. Thank you. Have a nice day.